Welcome to Backpage Blues Part 2. It's time for my favourite part of the week. I'm still joined by Charlie, the hurricane skiller from the Mail Online, <coughs> and it's time where we answer your questions. Um, just quickly, if you want to win this T-shirt, if this video gets, what should we say, a thousand, thousand likes... Ooh, and you a hard bargain, Rob. If, if this video gets a thousand likes, <coughs> I, will pick a, I will pick someone who's commented below. So comment below, let me know if you want the T-shirt, and if it gets a thousand likes, I will select a winner. Sweet. Cheers, mate. Right, let's make start with some of your questions. Um, Charlie Goulder has asked, uh, where do you think England will come in the Euros? Uh, I'm going to say quarterfinals. Um, I think that's England's kind of traditional place that they go out with the last two tournaments, let's face it, have been shambolic. Yeah. Um, I, I, I was impressed with them in the qualifiers. I, I thought they got a lot of stick and I, I thought they played very well against France. I'm slightly more optimistic than that, Charlie. I think that there's room for optimism here. I really do. I think, you know, our 100%... It's coming it's home. Coming home. I, we, our 100% uh, record in qualifying is... I don't think we've ever done that before. You've no. won every single game. Uh, we had a really good display against the French, and I think that the team are playing with really good momentum at the moment. And, yeah. you know, with the likes of Dele Ali coming in, I'm excited, I'm optimistic, I'm going for a minimum of a semi-final. Go on, England. <laughs> uh, Alfie's got the next question. He wants to know, would you bring back Solanke from his loan to help with our attack? Oh, it's a very good question. My answer is not yet. I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't want to throw him in the deep end. It's such a desperate time for Chelsea at the moment. We can't be risking it. We don't want to burn him out. We don't want to throw him in before he's ready. He won't enjoy that. No. Let's ease him into the first team. I think it should have happened already, but I don't think coming into a team that are playing this badly is good for a youth. Yeah, I, I understand what you mean. I do, I do think there's something to be said for some fresh blood. I think it would get the crowd massively on side. But, but he, is, he is doing fantastically at Vitesse. Let's face it, he's not going to get enough minutes at Chelsea right now. So I, I'd prefer to see him stay at Vitesse and be playing every yeah, week. Throwing him in the deep end isn't the right move for me. I wish mm. he was playing already. I think he should have been easy into the first team already, but not quite yet. Mm. Um, Connor Wakefield has said, should we cancel Falcao's loan in January? And if we, if we do that, who should come in to replace him? Um, now, there's been a lot of talk about this. At, at the Mail, we... There's been a lot of stuff about him going to Valencia, which kind of makes sense because, mm. you know, uh, they're owned by Peter Lynn. They've got massive connections with George Mendes, who's obviously Falcao's agent. Look, let's face it, this transfer, whatever it is, has not worked. Mm. So I, I, don't think, I don't think anyone's going to shed any tears if Falcao goes off. I mean, we, we talked about potential strikers in, in Backpage Blues part one. Um, Chelsea will definitely buy a striker in January. Fingers crossed from my perspective, Higuain I'm hoping for. Yeah, I think it's a fair shout. Um, next question from Billy. Uh, we, we've, we've done this before, but we keep slipping down and down and down, yeah. so the answer keeps changing. Um, where do you guys think we'll finish this season, realistically? Realistically, realistically, I think we could finish in the top four. I don't think we will. I don't think we will. Realistically is, is the question. Though. Realistically, yeah. where can we finish? Top four. Where will we finish? Somewhere between six and ten. Mm. I think if we get everything together, Mourinho gets his players into shape, you know, we start, we start scoring a bit more, start, start conceding so many stupid goals, we might just stay up. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't think Chelsea will get fo top four now. I think, you know, we're, we're so many points behind. I think Liverpool look decent under Klopp. Tottenham look, you know, a very good side at the minute. There's lots of young English players. I, you know, I don't think we're in that bracket at the minute. No, I um, agree. Where do you think, though? Eighth. Eighth. Something like that. Eighth and an appearance at the San Siro for the Champions League final. Yes. Thank you very much. That'll do me. A uh, question here from Rory Fraser has asked, oh, what would you want to win? Uh, oh, what's he said, sorry? Oh, who would you want to win the league considering that we're not going to win it? Um, this is, there's only one answer here. Yeah, and they're from Manchester and they play in... Sky Blue. Yeah, I, was, I thought that was Sky Blue. It's not as great. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, there's only one answer. Manchester City. They're not a yeah. rival of us. They're not. No. Manchester City aren't a rival. They're not a historic no. rival. They're a rival for trophies, but mm. they're no more of a rival than, say, Blackburn Rovers. They're just better at football than Blackburn. We don't have yeah. a historic hatred of Man City. No. So uh, the way that we do Leeds, Manchester United, Arsenal, Tottenham, QPR, yeah. West Ham, yeah. Yeah, none of those clubs. No. So I, uh, I think that it has to be Manchester City for me. Yeah, I mean, look... I don't think any Chelsea fan wants to see Arsenal win the league. I, I see it as a straight fight between Arsenal and Manchester City. So. Do you? Yeah. Not Manchester United? Uh, no, I, I just think that they're very good defensively. I just don't think Van Howe has really got them into shape in the way that everybody hopes. I understood. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's always uh, lovely. I love this part of, uh, of the week, so please comment below, get your questions in. And remember, if you want to win that T-shirt, that 
Comment below, write the word t-shirt and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Go on the champions.